If you think that's not enough Kirby, well, I don't do enough Kirby on this channel anyway, but whatever. Hello there, everybody. This is see what the plan one here, and oh my god. I'm finally back to friggin' recording, thank god. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a while, but now I'm ready to get back to recording, and obviously, this is not the first thing I record, which will be going up on YouTube, but anyway. This is Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance, the remake of Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Now, you may be asking yourself, why the heck are you LPing this game again? Didn't you already do one on EGF? Well, I'm kind of sort of not part of EGF anymore, so... And I also am not part of the group anymore, and as a result, I can't upload the one more video I have left. So I decided... Eh, why not? I might as well just reboot the entire thing. <laughs> as a Game Boy Advance game of all bloody things. Since, technically, this version of Kirby, Kirby's Adventure for the NES is the one that I am most familiar with. So, yeah, I played this a lot as a kid, and this is the version I have most memories with, not the NES version, actually. So, as you can already see, everything has been updated to Game Boy Advance standards, including the features of the game, such as, well, brand new minigames, an actual sound test where you can actually hear all the sounds of the game, and erase save files, since that didn't exist back then? I don't know. But, uh, the reason I have all three of these files open like this is because I was trying to test out things. Well, test out things, meaning, like, test them out, like, two minutes before stuff happened, but, eh, whatever. Anyway, let's get on with this. World 1 is veg Vegetable Valley, which has nothing to do with vegetables at all. It's just a thing that Kirby likes to do. Name things after food. <laughs> so as you might guess, this is the this is basically the old classic Kirby games. Not like uh not like uh Kirby 64 was. Well, technically Kirby 64 played like the classics do. And of course Skype is going off as I'm recording this very first part. I probably should have changed my status offline. But eh, whatever. So this is basically Kirby's Adventure as you remember it, except, well, it's a lot more updated in its visuals and the music and, well, the abilities and their costumes and stuff. But actually, technically, the abilities here that Kirby can suck up and activate like this, because that's what Kirby's all about, um, they haven't really changed at all from the, uh, from the, uh, NES version. So, they basically work just like they did in the NES version, not like they do in the amazing Kirby Superstar. But, eh, what are you gonna do? It's, uh, it's a thing. I kinda missed that, but, eh, whatever. This is just the first level to see how each ability works. And, of course, by the end of every level, I failed miserably at that. You play a little mini-game, where if you reach the top of the thing, you get extra lives. For stuff, and let me actually through this thing right now because that whole Skype sound effect is starting to get pretty annoying uh offline okay okay so I'm kind of son of okay I'll be right back okay so that was all piles of stupid <laughs> but uh anyway yeah apparently Skype does not simply uh sign off when you uh uh, do it from the thing menu of Windows 7, but anyway, new mini games. Yes, so one of the things that's different about Nightmare in Dreamland than in Kirby's Adventure is the fact that we have these new mini games, such as this one, Bomb Rally. So basically, you play Hot Potato with a whole bunch of Kirby's, different color Kirby's at that. And basically, the main point of the game: do not get yourself blown up, <laughs> because if you do, that's bad. And you will not gain any extra lives because of that. Now, I have no freaking idea how this works, even to this day, but... Apparently, you can change the direction of where you hit the thing, where you hit the bomb. And honestly, I have no idea how. I have no idea how it works. You know, it could be shit. But at least it gets a one-up. In fact, pretty much every minigame gives you extra lives and, like... So much extra lives in this version, you have no idea. Like, really. Because, I don't know why. Maybe they just wanted to make the game easier than it was. Because it was back in the old days when, you know, 
8 bits were the big deal. And this was a big part of the commercial back then. And speaking of the commercial, go see the commercial. Seriously, it, it's great. It's great. I remember when that commercial used to, like, been on TV a whole lot. And ow. Yeah, it's kind of cool because I wanted to show off this ability thing that you get from defeating this guy. Poppy Bros. You get Crash Kirby. There is no bomb Kirby in this game, sadly, but... Crash Kirby is basically a screen nuke. Like this. Boosh! Uh-huh. Yep, that's the entire deal of that. You just basically do a screen nuke and ah. Yep, if I die on the second level, and I probably will, I'm gonna be mad at myself. But that's okay. Because the Maxim Tomato is there, giving us the full health that we deserve. Not the full health that we need in. Actually, I do need that. Spark Kirby. I do need that. But if you're familiar with Spark Kirby right now, get used to how Spark Kirby operated back in the old days. Because Spark Kirby does not charge up like he does in the modern games, no. He just basically creates an electrical field and stuff. Anyway, I think that did it. Yes, that did it. Cool. So you, when you reach the top of that thing, Alien Kirby up there will give you an extra life. It's pretty much a nice, easy way to get extra lives in this game. Just practice the game at the end, and then there you go. I think pretty much every Kirby game has that. Or, Triple Deluxe has that. Yeah, it does. Except, well, you're going around in 3D trying to get the collectibles and stuff. Or rather, you shoot from a catapult to the thing that you need. So, yeah. So yeah, if you can tell, this game is on the Game Boy Advance, meaning updated visuals, and yeah, the backgrounds do look great. They look really great for Game Boy Advance standards. Well, it's a Kirby- well, it's a Kirby game, obviously. It always has to look, like, majestic and stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea, but... I- I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. But, if you're wondering about the story from the thing, it's basically the same as the original game. Because King DDD likes to be a dick. He broke the Star Rod into pieces and we gotta get it back. Yep. Because that was back in the old days when King DDD used to actually be a threat. But now he's friendly for some reason. I don't know, maybe Nightmare- maybe Return to Dreamland started that trend. I certainly know it wasn't the anime, that was for sure, but... It wasn't the anime. <laughs> it just wasn't. But anyway, we got this coming back from the original game. The museums. You can view copy abilities for free. Or if you're like me, and not figure out where you set the friggin' select button on the keyboard, because I am such that kind of guy. Nope. <laughs> I don't know where I set my select button! I swear to god, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know, man. But, uh, as for the worlds itself, uh, it's- there's nothing really, like, too special about them, like, you just go from door to door getting levels and stuff. Not like the old- not like the best world maps ever, but, eh, what are you gonna do? But anyway, this guy! As you pretty much know, like, every Kirby boss, or every Super Smash Brothers, uh, subspace emissary boss operates like, you basically hit a guy until you win. So. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. Yeah. So, what that boss would would have liked to do if I didn't kill him so easily was that he can shoot ice cubes at you, and you have to suck him up, and then you have to spit it out back at him, which is all kinds of ew. Because Kirby is a bottomless pit, and he likes to eat things. But, oh, oh. I kind of needed that. Yeah, so I could show this thing off. Ow. What did- Stop that! Jesus Christ! Ow! Oh my god. Are you serious? I know it's been a while since I did sort of an emulator type game, but honestly. Honestly. I need a controller. <laughs> this is proof the point that I, fr I seriously really need a freaking controller. And yeah, invincible can- Invincible candy! Woo! Get the extra life! And yeah, that- Super can- that super candy just makes this level a total bitch. 
Or rather, that makes that final section a total bitch, and I don't know why they did that for the final section. I mean, honestly. Why? And yeah, this video is going to be really short, isn't it? Well, pretty much just like at the... Pretty much just like the EGF LP I did of Kirby's Adventure, I'm going to split this apart into uh, each part per world. So, you're basically going to get seven videos because this game contains seven worlds. Yep. All that good stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be a short LP. Pretty much just like I said. But anyway, boss time! And if you know this guy, you know this guy. And I shouldn't have to tell you how to deal with this guy. Except if you're new to the... Ow. And yeah, I didn't recover on that, so... Eh. Anyway, uh, I shouldn't have to tell you how to beat this guy, but if you don't know, then I'll tell you how to do so. Basically, just hit him to win with a copy ability. Wispy Woods. Or, you can just suck up the apples and then throw it back at him. Seriously, this guy's like in every single Kirby game ever, and they try to make him different. And it does work. But anyway, we got a piece of the Star Rod back! Which somehow causes Kirby to... multiply into... multiple copies of himself. That's cool. But anyway, yeah, that was the shortest video ever! So this is gonna be like the shortest LP ever. Yee. Actually... Yeah, this is gonna be the shortest LP ever. <laughs> Actually not. Probably. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, we are going to proceed through level two, Ice Cream Island, which... The game lies to me, it has no ice cream! It has no ice cream, and I will kill everything who stands in my way because Kirby's an apocalyptic, ni apocalyptic nightmare. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.